Judging in the sense of correcting someone is allowed, but judging in the sense of condemning someone is not allowed. Sheng Bible study ukiona mimi hapa DJ Raf and tumeingia kwa Matthew chapter 7. Najua tumefanya so many so many episodes and thank you for all the subscribers. Tulishapiga 30,000 subscribers you know a few weeks back and we thank you for that. Tumeingia Matthew 7 still he ni Simon on the Mount. Nikisema Simon on the Mount always jua tu maanisha the time that Christ aliketi kwa mount yani kwa mountain na mbogi na multitude akawa teach and will continue with this Simon on the Mount all through chapter 7 so kifika 8 ndio tunamaliza sasa Simon on the mount yenyewe and today we are learning about something that umesikia one maybe umesikia ama ume umekukisema sana usini judge ama kuna watu fulani wana judge watu it's all about judging that Christ aki teach do not judge but it's not as simple as that so let's see what Christ said Matthew 7 judge not that you be not judged for with what judgment you judge you will be judged and with the measure you use it will be measured back to you so christ anasema ile measure yenu una judge watu nayo utajudgeiwa the same way and verse number 3 and why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye but do not consider the plank in your own eye ama the log in your own eye this means in your brother there's something very small in their eye a speck but wewe you have a plank you have a whole log in your own eye wewe mwenyewe hauko tu sawa before uanze kusema eh niaje si utoe hiyo hiyo stuff iko kwa macho yako we mwenyewe you have a bigger thing yenye you're not concerned about you only concerned about this other person or how can you say to your brother ile speck yenye umeona sasa let me remove the speck from your eye and look a plank is in your own eye And number 5 imepiga pale exclamation mark. We don't see exclamation sign in the Bible so it should mean some it should mean something uh, when we see one. Hypocrite. Exclamation. First remove the plank from your own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Many people use this verse to protect their own wrongdoings. That's the twist to all this. Yes Christ alisema usijudge but mara moja binakuanga wewe unajua unafanya the wrong thing knowing very well that what you're doing is not right maybe mlikuwa nyinyi maboy ama you know mkoko bible study ama you're just friends then oh umeshaanza tu tabia tabia tu fulani mbwak ni tu aziwezi then hautaki mtu akwambia that unakosea na unasema usini judge wase wengi will point fingers at the church today na najua ndio some people have been judged in church but if you're doing the wrong thing what should be happening is it is okay to be judged in the sense that unaambiwa what you're doing is not right what is wrong is to condemn ku condemn ni kusema umse awezi yako chini kwanza ebu mtoeni hapo kwa hiyo church you know that is condemning but as long as someone is correcting you someone is helping you kurudi back on track then it is right remember tunaambiwa that if you remove the speck from your eye ukitoa hiyo condemnation then it is okay for you kuambia umse ako na speck in their eye bible inakuambia kwanza remove the log then you'll be able to help your brother or your sister so yes judging in the sense of correcting someone is allowed but judging in the sense of condemning someone is not allowed alafu wale wase wachanganuzi wa masuala ya biblia wenye wame study theology utuambia the original word ya yeah, judging as taught in the bible ni krino which is a greek word krino meaning to condemn there is a place to judge but not a place to condemn hauwezi hauwezi condemn your brother or your sister that is not allowed Con- ku condemn ni kusema a ule alipotea na sometimes unazipata kuko na hiyo lugha pia eh hey, ule mambo yake ilisha hivyo no 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 that is not up to you what is up to you is to correct in love lazima uweke love again if you're trying to tell someone that maybe amekosea there are ways to say it lazima uweke love if there's no love you're not helping that person you're just condemning that person say for example kuna mse mwenye kwa mbogi yenu tu ameanza tu kupiga magode gode zake ajielewi anapiga tu mate itei zake you know this person 
unaweza kaa mkalishe down with love umbe bro niaje manze tumetoka far and najua uko na ability ya kufanya this and this and this but na feel ni kama una, una, una ikula sana man unaipiga sana na itakuja tu ikumes mimi siwezi takaufikia hapo that's one way of saying it another way of saying it ni wewe na wewe umekuwa msema bangi wewe wewe sasa nini nitakusaidia kwa hii life oh utapotea na, na nilishakwambia nilishakwambia tu hakuna kitu ita happen life yako tu ime eh bro that is condemnation that is not allowed this message is as straightforward as it gets lakini bible ime to show how to solve conflicts ama how to approach people who you think wamefanya the wrong thing matthew 18:15 to 17 it says if your brother sins against you go and tell him his fault step number one, tell him or her their fault mwambie eh Mazewe nyo ulifanya nilifeel umenikosea. That may not work, that may work. Hopefully it works. Na inasema between you and him alone. If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. Akikusikiza, u boys imerudi ama ile u beste imerudi. But if he does not listen, what do you do? Unafaa mwambie tu ah wewe ishia huko basi si nimejaribu kukubongesha oh na uwezi sikia uh, hii best yetu imeishia hapo stay kukuona usini call by the way no 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 if he does not listen take one or two others along with you you know maybe someone mwenye uskizana na yeye ama maybe ni a family member ama someone mwenye ana respect ishia ni wote pamoja then talk to this person again mwambie eh manze venye ulifanyia umse haikuwa fiti tuna try to kusoti ngori that may not work that may work hopefully it works if it doesn't work what are you supposed to do but if it does if it does not listen take one or two others along with you that every charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses so kuna two or three witnesses wenye wako hapo if he refuses to listen to them tell it to the church imefika sa level ya church one tulianza na we kumuongelesha two uka kuja na a few witnesses ama watu wenye wanaweza mbongesha two or three then tell it to the church umse ujue anaweza kataa kusikiza hadi kanisa so what do you do in that case if he refuses to listen to even the church let him be to you as a gentile and a tax collector hapo sasa ndio uko allowed kurusha mikono kusema okay Yo story imeishia hapo nilikubongesha nimeleta wasee wenye unaweza sikiza tukakam tukabonga nimekupeleka kwa chacha utaki kusikiza so at that point unaweza chore ya umsi niki grow up nilikuwa naenda church ni full gospel churches of Kenya na something used to happen in that church walikuwa nasema kuna kutenga kutenga mtu from the church so kutolewa church ili ku ina happen <laughs> like as much as you you feel church inafaa ku welcome everybody kuna mse mwenye clearly hataki benefit ya hii church na huu mse amekuja tu kuchafua hii church na walikuwa wanatenga mse kuna time fulani and ta try kusafisha lugha as much as possible najua kuna wazazi wanachikina watoi but kuna mse alifanya tu kitu fulani na, na mbuzi alafu ikakuwa eh hii hapa imekataa manzi imekataa kabisa so nilikuwa na ngoja pasi atasemaje akitenga umsi akimtoa from the church so pasi alikuja akasema so and so e, na hiyo hiyo kitu yenye alifanya na hiyo mbuzi watu walikuwa wanatoka wanatoka you know kanisa wanatoka midweek service wametoka tu ku share word wakirudi mtaani wakasikia mbuzi fulani inalia eh shindwa nini inaendelea wakapata kuna jamaa fulani ana do vitu fulani aziwezi so pasi eh, kulikuwa tu na meeting ya machurch alafu akasema so and so tumemtenga tumemtoa kwa kanisa ya full gospel churches of Kenya eh, kwa sababu alifanya mbuzi bibi yake and more recently i was in a church in Nairobi where kuna dem fulani alikuwa eh, kazi yake anataka tu agawia ma boys alafu anaenda kuambia pasta ati eh hey, Huyu sijui o alini na GC and unaleta ma rape cases zenye wewe mwenyewe ndio umefanya hiyo blanda ikakuwa investigated manzi watu wako na udem ako na spirit true fulani ana try kuharibu cha chumeongeleshwa umefanywa nini na ijawaka kabisa it is okay kutenga mtu kumtoa from the church later on tutakuwa tunalearn about that how far you give pals 
to dogs ama ufai ku give pals to pigs pals ni you know ornaments jewelry you know very fine jewelry kama hiyo pig haitaelewa hizo pals ni za nini usiipatie so kama huu mtu umesha try kum help na hataki hiyo help my friend it is okay kumwambia cheki sasa kwa hii group yetu mzee usikaa usirudi tena tumekuongelesha tumefanya hivi na hivi but wewe unaendelea kuharibu unaendelea kuharibu na kuna wase hadi wametoka church wametoka kwa hii group yetu ya bible study juu yako so for now eh, tafadhali unaweza jiondoa that is allowed as you think about that see you on the next episode of Sheng Bible Study kuna vitu zingine zenye ziko so straight forward azina ati sasa explanation nyingine zaidi hapo ati do not do not judge uh, wetu si judge what is the basics zenye tulifunisha ndio watumia yangi like sema sahani kikombe triangle by then ni pembe tatu <laughs> by then ujaika ukasema so tunadi kutengeneza shape hapa ya pembe tatu